Hi, Sean. My name is Sarah. I'm 27 years old, and my market is New Orleans, Louisiana. Hi, I'm Amber. I'm a partner, and I'm also 27 years old. And following the Flip to Freedom podcast and academy, we just received our first check on wholesaling, assigning $6,000. All Thank from you. following your program. Um, we ran across your program around August 2014. At the moment, we're both in school full-time. We both have full-time jobs. And luckily at my job, I'm able to wear headphones and listen to music. And I just got bored with listening to music and I found podcasts. And once I discovered your podcast, I fell in love and knew this was real. I knew a little bit about wholesaling. But you described that you'll show us how to do the how-tos, and we were super motivated, and we were ready to get started. We knew that we didn't have the time because we had so many other commitments, but we knew now or never. We knew we had to jump on board because this is our motivation, and we wanted to be entrepreneurs in our life and gain additional income. So how we came across our first contract was basically implementing all the action steps that you have provided for us. You, We put up um, Craigslist ads. We followed the 5K Lightning Fast formula. We went to REIA meetings. We um, went to auctions. Went to auctions to find cash buyers. Exactly. And we also drove for dollars to come across our first property. And it was actually around our backyard because... We felt that we knew the market the best. So we stayed very locally, drove for dollars. Um, we sent out our yellow letters and set up a landline so we could have a certain number when people call us back. And we began getting calls. And we stumbled across our first property that way. It was actually literally a couple of blocks from our house. And it was a three-bedroom, two-bath apartment house with a two-bedroom, one-bath apartment attached to the back. And the owner was an elderly lady. The house had been sitting vacant. For years, she was paying taxes, the title was free and clear, and it was just a burden to her. So we thought this was the perfect property because we can really help our seller. And she was looking just to get the cash and move on from the property. Um, the ARV in the neighborhood was 70 to 100 k and this house needed a lot of work. So we came across um, our final number. We negotiated her down to about seventeen five, knowing the house needed thirty to 40000 in repairs. We signed the contract that day we met her and walked through the house, and then we began marketing for buyers. We went to an REI meeting, passed out flyers on our property. We put up bandit signs. Like I said, we followed all your steps that you basically told us, you showed us. And that really helped us along the way when we got stuck and faced obstacle, obstacles of how to get more buyers. We just went back to your podcast, went back to your book, and kept trying everything that we could. And we got a couple of offers at 20 k We originally had it priced at 30 k but we knew we could get a little bit higher. So we just kept promoting the property, advertising on the internet. And um, we came across a buyer put offering at 22 k and... During the time, we've had the property for about a month, and we basically noticed that the outside AC unit was stolen, and the house side panels were falling off. So we knew we had room to negotiate back with our seller, and that's just what we did. We renegotiated with her to get her down to 16 k from our seller, and we had a buyer for 22 k So all we did after that was find our title company and close the deal. And we assigned the contract and got our $6,000 payday. They kept no our check, so this is a copy. Yeah, on November 12th, 2014, all because of you, Sean Terry. Thank you so much. There was no way that we could have accomplished this goal without your podcasts, without the, the, the visualization, without the correct mental aspects. All of those things were so important to us and so dear to us. The visualization, the setting specific goals, the clearly knowing what you want and making it happen. When Amber and I decided to go about this business, we knew what our business mission and purpose was going to be to rejuvenate neighborhoods and revitalize communities. And we wanted to start in our own city, New Orleans. We are a city that comes back harder and comes back stronger. 
we, you know, we're resilient and that's exactly what we want to exude in our business. And we thank you. We love you. We are so grateful for your program. We want all young people, old people, entrepreneurs, women, men, college grads, you know, high school graduates to know that this is real and that if you're on the fence, go ahead and take a leap of faith. Clear your mind. Study Sean, your law of attraction, write that letter down and give yourself the, the faith and confidence in the program. And that's exactly what we did. We, we are here today to encourage others to know that if they're on the fence, if they're not sure what they want to do, but they know they want more, to take a leap of faith and recognize that this program works and we are the living proof. We're, we're young, educated women out here and we, we're hustling. We want more. And we are so grateful to your program, Flip to Freedom and the Flip to Freedom Academy. We thank you. We love you. We can't wait to update you with more contracts. Thank yes. you. Thank you so much.